Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, do an upgrade of uh, Jira instance. So I have been uh, using this uh, Jira for quite a while and uh, today I thought uh, why not uh, upgrade it to the latest version. So right now I'm using Jira 7.10 uh, which is not really very old but it is not really the lead the latest version as well and I want to upgrade it to the Jira 8.6.1 so I think that is the uh, the latest version of Jira as of January 2020 so what I will be doing uh, I will be uh, of course uh, uh, doing this upgrade on my actual server so I am right now using uh, uh, my CentOS server which is uh, a virtual uh, private uh, machine uh, and uh, virtual private server whatever you want to call it so basically on this server i have my jira installed and uh, to install jira you basically need to download the latest version of uh, your uh, uh, your atlassian jira software files so i have already downloaded it so if i take a look at my directory which is software directory i have this uh, this uh, archive here called uh, Atlassian Jira software 861.tar.gz. So this is basically uh, one of my uh, or basically the actual uh, you know application uh, Jira application uh, files that I will be using to perform this upgrade. And uh, on this server, I will first uh, show you my uh, my application directory and my home directory. So when you are installing Jira. You basically have to worry about two directories and the first one is your Jira uh, Jira home directory which is basically a directory where you will uh, where you will have the 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 attachments and you will have the configurations to your database and you will have your log files this directory will also have the plugins that you will be up uploading to your uh, to your Jira instance so my application not not application but my jira home directory is uh, uh, where uh, slash jira hyphen home to so this is my uh, home directory and this is something that will not change there is also one more directory called as uh, the application directory so this directory currently is under my opt folder so there is a directory called opt slash atlassian slash jira and if i take a look at this uh, uh, this directory here i basically have uh, uh, a sim link called current and this sim link will uh, point to the directory where i want my latest jira application files to be so this is not really mandatory it is something uh, you know uh, as a good practice it will make your life easier let us say you copy the new folder here so all you need to do is you need to change the sim link from this location to uh, uh, to the new folder so you just need to change the current sim link so let us uh, start installing jira and the first thing that i will probably do is i will uh, copy the uh, the latest atlassian jira software files to this uh, directory so let us do the copy here and uh, then we'll uh, do the uh, uh, then we'll uh, expand or extract the files so let me just uh, do a simple copy here so after you copy it you can take a look again in your directory so this is now, now copied to my uh, opt slash atlassian slash jira directory and what i can do now i can extract the files mm -hmm. So I will type in my command uh, tar hyphen x zvf and I will simply oh, I need to go to the opt folder. So let us go to the opt folder and uh, let us take a look at the files that we just uh, downloaded which is starting with 861. So if we extract this it will uh, of course take maybe a few minutes and uh, then all we need to do is we need to change the same link to this directory. So while uh, this is happening, I will probably go back to my Jira instance and uh, uh, right now my Jira is running. I have not shut it down. But uh, when you of course uh, uh, do the upgrade, you need to shut it down 
there will be a downtime and uh, then you can uh, do your changes and of course you need to run it again so if i take a look at uh, the directory st structure uh, again under my opt atlas jira so the files are now copied to my uh, my my directory so this is i think i did a wrong thing i did something really wrong so i did this uh, extract in the current uh, directory from where i issued the command so i don't really want to do this i can copy it but let us get rid of it i'll uh, probably move into uh, the actual uh, opt directory and then i'll uh, probably uh, do it again so let us uh, go into the directory and uh, now if i take a look at the structure i do have the archive here so let me just uh, run the command here again to extract it under my opt at jira so let me find my command so this is my command and uh, let us do it again so yeah so i think uh, this will now be extracted in my current opt so right now i am inside opt at lashin jira and if i take a look at the structure of my uh, or the files so i do have i believe now my uh, at lashin jira software 861 slash standalone so uh, this is all good and uh, if i take a look at uh, the sim link so the sim link is currently uh, basically using the 7.10 so let us first uh, delete the sim link. So you can use a command like uh, simple remove. And if you type in your uh, sim link name here, it will be uh, deleted for you. And uh, you can create a new sim link again by using uh, the command, uh, which is uh, uh, link uh, dot, uh, not dot, but hyphen s. And if you do this, you will have a new sim link. So let us take a look at the new sim link. So, so the new sim link is now pointing to the 861 uh, folder now there are a few more things uh, that we need to do and before i do this let me just you know, shut down my jira instance and uh, let me just uh, make sure that my jira uh, is not really running so i'll probably type in the command here to stop my jira and if you have a service enabled you can use the service or you can also kill your uh, your jira service just to be sure that uh, uh, your not not the service but the process that is running so i have this uh, process which i can uh, uh, run uh, which i can kill uh, and uh, I, this will basically ensure that my jira is not running uh, for sure so i think i can uh, type in my process id here which is 275 one five and uh, if i kill this and if i take a look at the process which is uh, probably running right now so no right now there is no process and uh, and now what i can do i can uh, uh, now do further changes so let me first go in into the current uh, directory which is now pointing to my 861 folder and uh, under this directory, you have the new files of uh, the new Jira application. Now, uh, there is one. There, there, are, there are a few more change, changes that you need to do. Since we are using a MySQL database, I have a MySQL database and I want to use it. So I need to basically copy the MySQL uh, driver from the old directory to this new directory under the lib folder. So what I can do, I can simply do a copy and I can uh, probably go to my uh, my previous folder that was at Lush in Jira 7 dot 10 and i can copy the the, the mysql uh, driver so let us do this very quickly and uh, the i need to go to the lib folder not the bin folder so i'm just finding the uh, jar file so this the jar file is something that we need to copy to our uh, lib folder so once you do this you can simply verify whether you have this copied or not so I believe uh, this MySQL connector is now copied. So it's a great thing. Now we can do a uh, few more changes. So uh, now we have a new application directory and we need to basically make sure that it will use the 
home directory that we already have set up. And for doing that, you need to go to uh, the uh, application properties of your uh, Jira and you need to uh, point it to the right application directory, not the application directory, but the right home directory. So let us first take a look at what this directory is or, or basically the file where uh, we need to do these changes. So we will do the same thing. We'll go to the Atlassian Jira software 7.10 and uh, we need to go to our directory called as uh, Atlassian Jira. And under this directory, there is one more directory called, uh, uh, I believe, uh, web INF. So I'll uh, type in the directory name and uh, there is one more directory Oh no, we need to go in under classes. So I'll type in here classes. I'll probably get rid of my face so you can uh, take a look at uh, what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so you need, you need to go into the classes and there is I think one more, uh, one more file here. Let me first type in here Jira. So I think it is Jira application properties. So this is the file that you need to modify. And uh, what I will do here, I will uh, use Emacs to make uh, changes to this file. So you can see here that uh, right now it is pointing to jira.home. I mean, it is, uh, I mean, the, uh, the location needs to be specified like this. So what I can do, maybe I can open uh, in a separate sc screen within my Emacs. I will open the directory that I need to uh, modify, which is under my 8.6. So I will probably go to current and uh, I will go to the same Atlassian Jira and then I can go to, I believe, classes. Oh no, we need to go to the web INF and uh, we then need to go to go to class and uh, I will probably use something like this. So it is easier to basically uh, open the file. So we have the uh, file that we can uh, modify and this needs to point to the home directory that we have, which is uh, var slash Jira home and two. And I believe uh, this is it. And uh, what we can do now, uh, first I can take a look at, uh, let me first clear this for you. So so let me just uh, run the, run the uh, service again. And I can do that using this command, or maybe I can go to uh, a file called as, uh, uh, I need to go to the folder called init.d slash Jira. So this is uh, the, the, the service that I can, uh, or, or basically this is the file that actually runs the Jira as a service. So I can directly stop Jira or start Jira by using this, uh, this uh, command. And by the way, uh, if you want to do, if you want to do the same thing, I mean, when you install Jira, you have the option to also install it as a service, both on Linux or Windows. And uh, if you read the documentation of Atlassian when it comes to installing Jira or maybe upgrading Jira, you have everything documented. But I think uh, it is always good to have your own uh, file that you can configure where you can pass some parameters like uh, you can uh, also have some additional additional configurations and it will give you a bit more flexibility because I always install Jira by using the archive file. I never use the bin, uh, I mean the installer. So what I can do here, I can start Jira here and uh, this will probably take some time. And now we need to wait for Jira to basically uh, be up and running. And if I go to the UI of my Jira instance and if I do a refresh, uh, I don't think I uh, will have Jira running immediately, but I can see here that now Jira is uh, is uh, initiating or it is uh, starting up because we just ran the service. So let us take a look at uh, the uh, log file and uh, this log file is uh, now showing us some information about uh, the service 
that is uh, running and i think uh, uh, so far there is uh, nothing uh, worrying usually when you upgrade jira and especially when you upgrade jira after quite a while you see you can expect some potential errors and you can probably do some work around and if i take a look at my uh, my ui i don't really see any error and the good thing is that it seems like i have been able to upgrade my jira to the latest version and let me try to log in i'm a bit nervous because whenever you do something similar on a big or huge instance of jira things don't really, don't really always work well the very first time and uh, if i try to log in i should be able to log in and i I, I, and of course i will be able to take a look at the upgrade report so now we have this post upgrade landing page that you will uh, encounter it will probably give you some information and uh, to be honest uh, things have failed which is fine i think it is good to know that something has failed so you can probably do something about it so for example it says uh, application links failing so maybe one of my application link is not really working some of the user apps have failed to start so this is fine i think uh, some of the or in fact quite a lot of uh, uh, quite a lot of apps didn't work and if i go to the manage app section i can uh, take a look at uh, uh, the details of those apps i may be able to do something about them and i think when you do an upgrade of for jira i think these things are useful because uh, right now we are doing this uh, upgrade let us say on a test instance or maybe maybe it is some kind of a staging instance and and you have the opportunity to fix the errors maybe you need to make sure that you are using the compatible apps or maybe you need to upgrade those apps which is most likely the case i will probably upgrade the uh, apps to the uh, latest compatible version and uh, and as you can see here on the screen if i take a look at uh, the uh, the uh, list of apps it will tell you what went wrong so for example for most of the apps you need to basically update them so this is something that you can expect as well when you are doing an update of uh, jira when you are upgrading jira i think you need to know what went uh, wrong and uh, how you can fix it but the good thing is that uh, our jira is uh, upgraded to the latest version and will be able to do uh, new wonderful things with the new instance of uh, jira running on latest 8.6.1 so th this is all i wanted to uh, share in this uh, video and i hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today thank you very much